Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I've got some sweet adjustments I'm going to make to my Code Blocks top. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So if you're looking closely, this is the normal design, and that is my top. But we're going to go create it in Code Blocks. Now, what I did, of course, was I hit duplicate and I created this one. I'm just going to open the one I already built and I'm going to show you what I did because it's really pretty simple, but it's also fun. And this is how we're going to create the most awesome top ever. So once again, I'm just guessing. I know that I'm building with cones. This time I chose the paraboloid, which means I have to scale it. If I hit faster speed and play, you'll see my top up here. I shortened it so it prints a little faster. I made the angle a little steeper so it's a little more full. And then of course I zoomed in to make sure that I had the numbers so it was connected. This was the most common mistake I saw was we were doing this in a class. Sometimes my students wouldn't double double check and we'd have a floating piece, which ends up being a real problem. So the next part of my project, after I changed these numbers, I did a weird radius of 23 and so on and so forth was I wanted to create text that went around the shape. I climb stairs every day at a place called Mount Pisgah. I want to put top of Mount Pisgah, and then what I do is I leave these up there so that people can find them and have them kind of like painted rocks. So there is no curved text in code blocks, but if we choose export and export as a part, we can save it. So I'm gonna call this top and I'm gonna put a two because I already did, and we can have tags and whatever we needed. Don't lock the part size because you may want to make it bigger and then simply save the shape. When you're done with that, you can back out and enter the normal design area. So I'm gonna hit 3D design and I could hit create new, but I'm gonna hit tinker this and I'm gonna show you what I built. So right here is my top of Mount Pisgah. The final words I chose here are more fancy than what is available in Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, you can move down and under featured shapes, they have curved words. Now this really only has one font available and I like to change the numbers like this. So I went to 320 degrees, point size 22, so they spread out pretty decent and then the radius so it would fit, but they're just kind of skinny. So I skipped those and what I did was went to another one of my favorite programs, but this is a program that you have to buy, but I use Lightburn for my laser cutting and it is super slick because I can draw a circle and I can simply fit that text right to the circle in an instant and then I can export it as an SVG so I can bring it into Tinkercad. If you've never seen that process before, it's this simple, import choose file and remember I told you it was a SVG I've got a spot where I save those when I export them I only want the art and I'm gonna keep it at size 100 for now you can see when it comes in that it is a little larger than my top was I turned it into a hole and then I simply held down shift and I shrunk it till it was the right size for my top if I hit W for work plane we can drop it up there and you can see that fits I just rotated around so it was actually just like that. Another cool thing I did up here was I did alt shift so it shrunk around the middle until I found the exact spot where I wanted to push it, pushed it down in and then I grouped it so it cut that sweet phrase out of my top. All right, friends, so there you have it. Simple skills, but it sure did turn out slick, and I'm going to love leaving these on the top of Mount Pisgah. If you ever get to visit Holland, Michigan, I highly recommend you climb the stairs, 239 of them all the way up, but it's beautiful at the top. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.